Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and in this video I want to talk about what is the difference between an RV park and a campground. Well, the basis of the difference is that an RV park is privately owned, whereas a campground is publicly owned. Public meaning the government, such as in a state park or a national park. And they will have some spaces that have hookups of water and electricity. And then they will have spaces with just water, which is basically for tent campers. But they pretty much all will have a dump station, which will be close to the entrance of the park. And also the Corps of Engineers parks. There are also public campgrounds in national forests and Bureau of Land Management areas, but they typically will not have any hookups at all. You're just primitive or, as they say, dry camping. Typically at an RV park, you will have full hookups, meaning electric, water, and a sewer dump right at your camp space. And most RV parks are in a city. There are some, though, that can be quite a ways out in the country between towns, but public campgrounds will almost always be outside of a city. Some are actually in a city, but most of them will be anywhere from one to a hundred miles away from a city. And campgrounds will typically be very basic, whereas RV parks may have a lot of amenities. And there are some RV parks that are just pretty much basic as well. And then there are some that call themselves RV resorts because they will have a swimming pool and a laundry room and other types of facilities as well. Another big difference is in the daily cost. Some RV parks, the price is anywhere from $25 to about $60. And then there are some that are 60 to 160 and then there are some that are in a highly popular place such as right at a beach or in a very popular area like Disneyland or Hershey Pennsylvania for example where the daily fee may be between 100 and 200 dollars and that's a lot per night. So you really got to want to be there. And another big difference is in the looks of the place and how much space you have. So right now I am at San Angelo State Park, which is actually just a couple miles outside of the city. And I'm going to show you now what that looks like. It is right near a lake. Have a good lake view there. And look at the other RVs around here. Look how much space each RV has. And over here, which is just to the left of me, look at all that vacant land. There is a space there, and there, and there, but they are quite a different distance away. So one of the big benefits of a public campground like state or national parks, is that you have a lot of area. So you're not going to have another RV parked 10, 20, 30 feet away from you. And state and national parks will typically be very close to a river or a lake or an ocean, some body of water. And that's something you rarely get at an RV park. So this has much more of a feel of camping than RV parks in town where you will have another RV like 20 feet away from you. So this is definitely the way I prefer to do it. Now ladies and gentlemen, this is Oakwood RV Resort in Fredericksburg, Texas. It's a pretty typical RV park, although a little more on the resort side. But look at these RVs here. 
Look at the space between them. That's how much room you typically get at an RV park. Quite a bit different <laughs> from the campground I showed you before. Of course, here they have a swimming pool, but with this being a cold day in December, swimming pool is not of any use to anybody here, really. Although they do have a hot tub that I might go in later tonight. Now their daily prices here range from $37 to $57 a night, depending on the size and location of the space. And that is compared to the $20 a night at the campground I was at yesterday. Normally I would never stay at a place like this, but the reason I'm here is because I'm with a bunch of people have it with, with an RV rally with the Winnebago Club. So once in a while, I do have to stay at a place like this to go to the RV rallies because they, they always have them at RV parks like this. So if you haven't stayed at many RV parks or campgrounds, this should give you a feel as to what it's like and what the differences are between RV parks and campgrounds. Good day, folks.